Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. I'm AC and I hope y'all had a safe 4th of July. I got all my fingers, I had a good weekend. Um, today I'm gonna walk you through this 2023 Winnebago Navion. This is the 24J floor plan. The Navion comes in three different floor plans, the 24V, 24D and the 24J. So this is the J model. I'll walk you through some of those differences as we go through it. We're gonna start up front. This unit is available. It's stock number 5N230210. We'll start up front, it's on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis. So you're gonna have 188 horsepower. It's a three liter V6, uh, 325 pound feet of torque. So you can see up front here, we're gonna have our aluminum wheels. Our Continental tires. We do have a fixed running board here to help you in and out of the van. So we walk around, this is gonna be your Mineral 2 exterior color. Really nice, clean look. I'll point out a couple things on the door here. Give you a nice built-in waste basket. Another little storage pocket here for maps, if you're still using maps. If you are, get a cell phone, they work really well. I should say get a smartphone, not just a cell phone. Uh, your batteries are gonna be under here in this compartment. So you're gonna have your two house batteries here in this compartment. You also have a nice screen here, keep the bugs out. Beautiful day like today, you don't need the air conditioner running. Get some fresh air circulating through there. This is equipped with the dual pane acrylic windows. We also have a porch light up top here. Our front compartment is actually gonna have a little bit of a pass through if you look down up high there you're going to have probably about four inches of pass through for smaller thinner items that uh, you need a little bit of extra length for this comes equipped with your truma aqua go hot water heater so really the main reason i like to open this door up is to show you that when you open it make sure that you lift up we got a lot of people that flip down and you break these tabs off. So make sure that you're lifting it up when you're opening that compartment. Down here, we're gonna have our propane quick connect. So if you like to carry a propane grill, that's where you would hook that up. This comes with the 12 gallon propane tank. You're also gonna have 37 gallons of fresh water, 41 gallons of gray and 41 uh, black. This one's equipped with the Onen 3600 propane generator. Not sure if you can hear it. I got it running because I had the furnace on in there. It was kind of chilly this morning when I got here. Storage compartment up here actually goes through a little bit further back. And this is accessible by lifting up the bed inside. So easy access. If it's raining out, you don't have to go outside to get your supplies. Another storage compartment back here in the back. You can see down here, this is gonna be your exhaust for your generator. That does tend to heat up, so be careful. The back side here, we've got our backup camera up top. 5,000 pound towing capacity on the hitch. You've got a seven pin connector. Back here on the rear driver's side, you're gonna have your wet bay, you're gonna have your, your outdoor shower and water hookup. You're also gonna have your gray and your black tank drains, and also your 30 amp shore cord. Right here is your black tank flush inlet. So this is where you're gonna hook up your water when you're done, you wanna 
flush it out every few few trips. Uh, basically, it's got like a little, I'd call it a little sprinkler system inside. When you run the water, it kind of just flushes out that black tank. Do remember when you're draining your tanks, always do your black first and then your gray tank. We've got another compartment here that reaches up a little ways. Here's the other compartment with some pass-through. Here in the front compartment on the driver's side, you're going to have your propane tank. And also, this is equipped with hydraulic leveling, so that is the system right there. Alright, here on the driver's side, a couple things to point out. Your fuel is kind of hidden here. It's nice when the door shut, you cannot open it so they can't be stealing your fuel. It is diesel, so make sure you use the, the correct fuel. One more fixed running board on this side. You do have the tie down rings on both sides. This one's equipped with the upgraded Primaris uh, leather seats. And they are power seats here on the left side of the door. It does have three memory settings. So I always recommend doing a couple different settings. Um, I'm going to show you. I've got setting one. I'm not going to rotate it around, but I do have setting one set. So when it's time to rotate the seat around and make it part of the living area, you don't have to try to remember how far forward to move it. You're also going to have power door locks, power mirrors, and the seats are also heated. You're going to have your light controls here. Your hood release is right down here. Again, it's a three liter V6. Plenty of room in here. You've got your wiper fluid here coolant of course you're going to have your def fluid this is a diesel so you're going to have to put def in it this is where you fill it up if you fill it and you spill some make sure you hose it off clean it off because it will leave a white residue um, wherever it spills if you don't clean it up here's where you put your oil again lots of room here plenty of room to get in and out if you gotta do your you know service your own engine this is where you would hook up your positive cable if you need a jump start or if you need to give somebody a jump start. And then your ground is right there on the side. All right, now we can go inside. As we walk in the door, a couple things to point out. Down here is your battery, your 12 volt battery disconnect. You've got your main on and off here for your inverter. Your steps, you can shut those off so they don't open and close every time you open the door. You've got your awning controls and your awning lights. The sun's not shining today, so we don't need the awning out. Here is your equalizer system, your leveling system. And then your light controls here. The right side of the door, you're going to have your fire extinguisher and also your ladder for your bunk area there. I'll go ahead and shut this door. All right, up top here, we're going to have our bunk. We've got our blackout shades there. As you can see we have a privacy curtain. You also have a nice reading light here. And there's standard outlets, USB, and a 12 volt outlet as well up there. So whoever's sleeping up there can plug in their phone, their iPad, whatever they need to do. These are going to be your booster seats so that when you swivel the seats around, I'm actually going to go ahead and swivel this one here in a minute to show you um, using that memory setting as I mentioned. Let's see here. 
So now by pushing the memory, I know that it's gonna go in the right position. There's a lever underneath. Swing it around, put the booster seat on there. That allows you to be at a higher level because there is a level change down here. That way your knees aren't hitting your chin when you're sitting down. You can rotate both of those seats around. Gives you a nice little living area here. Let me turn on some lights. The booth dinette, I really like in the uh, Navions because it's really spacious. You have plenty of room for quite a few guests, actually. The table rotates, so if there's just two people, you can have additional space. Each of these compartments are gonna have storage underneath. It's good for blankets, pillows, large pots and pans. You're also going to have a seat belt under each one. So you're going to have three seat belts and two up front. So you'll have five seat belts total. These are going to be your foot rests. So if you kind of want to lounge, sit across this way while you're watching your TV, get a little more comfortable. That comes in really, really handy. You're also going to have your night and day shades. On your windows, a couple things to point out here. All right, so once your window is open, you have a couple options. You can just push them up, let them lock, put your bug screen down. Or, and to pull them in, you want to go up and then down. You can lock them on this center piece here so it leaves the window just cracked open, but still gives you the security of them being locked. Now we get some fresh air circulating. Really nice feature. Up above the dinette, we're gonna have some storage compartments. These buttons, you push them in so they don't open while you're going down the road. These are your Winnebago owner's manuals so whoever's not driving can read up and let you know how to use everything we do a walkthrough with you whenever it's uh, when you come pick up from from us here at trans west so we'll walk you through and show you how to use everything but if you forget something which you will there's a lot to learn uh, i always go into your owner's manuals or youtube this does turn into a bed i'll show you how that works Maybe. There we go. Wow. There we go. All right. So once you get that out, this just fits right over the top here. You're going to want to lift one side, set it in there. The cushions back here fit right in here. And now you have a really nice bed. It's not a little tiny thing where you have to kind of ball up to sleep. This gives you plenty of room. And when you're done, same thing. Lift up one side. The table does have little adjustment here so once you set it down you can lock it into place there you go a couple reading lights under here all right over in the kitchen we're gonna have a couple things we're gonna have our TV and sound bar this does pull open. Paper towel dispenser, you have your Sony Blu-ray player. Up here, a couple things to point out. There's a roof access port down below. There you go. Also some USBs, another standard outlet, and a 12 volt. See, we got our remote stored in here. Here in this compartment, we're gonna have our holding tank heater pads 
in our Xantrax inverter controller. I really like the Navion because you get a gas burner and an induction. So depending on what you're cooking or what your preference is, you could do either. You have a dual stainless steel sink. Under the sink, plenty of room. Again, if you don't want to use that, the door there for your waste basket, you can throw a small one in here. You got plenty of room for all your cleaning supplies. Also a nice little basket here. And I have three drawers. These are soft closing, self closing. Convection microwave. This is basically this is going to be your closet. We do have our little gift bag here that comes with your sewer hose and miscellaneous items that you're going to need. And then here is your pantry. You're going to have four shelves. Then on the bottom here, you're going to have another drawer. In this layout, the 24J, the sink is outside of the bathroom. You have your medicine cabinet here, your sink. Additional storage under there as well. Just to hang your towel up, your, your hand towel. All right, here in the bathroom, a couple things I'd like to point out. You gotta be careful when you're opening this up if you don't. It can scare you. So when you push it in, it locks into place to open it. You push out and then just kind of hold that retracts in there. Here on your toilet. It's not quite a bidet, but this is to help you clean the toilet, rinse it off when you're done. A couple things to point out on this wall here. You're going to have your water pump switch and then your Truma Aqua Go hot water heater controls here so you're going to have an eco mode a hot mode and then a clean mode really easy to use again if you purchase from us we will do a walkthrough with you and show you how to use everything in the coach here in the, in the bedroom area you're going to have three large overhead compartments You're also going to have two reading lights, one on each side, and two of these little handy baskets here, one on each corner. You can put your phone in there, your keys, there's an outlet, USB ports on the sides, so you can charge your phone while you're sleeping. We also have this one equipped with the TV. And then, as I mentioned earlier, you do have storage under here. The storage compartment that we showed outside is accessible from inside here. So plenty of room. This right here is where your winterization valves are, valve one and three. If you have a coach and don't know how to winterize, you can always have somebody do it for you, schedule an appointment, or you can learn how to do it yourself. I recommend that. Um, you can do that a few ways. You can have a mobile tech come out and show you how to do it at, at your house, or you can uh, watch a lot of YouTube videos. They're really handy. Refrigerator, really nice size freezer, which is hard to find in a van or a coach this side. This is a C-Class. This model here, this Norcold model, has a night mode to help you conserve uh, power. Here's your solar charge controller, your one place panel with your water pump, tank levels, battery levels, your gen start and stop, and then your meter there so you can see how many hours we've got we got less than one hour on this one so far slide controls are here before i go into the cab i do kind of want to close the slide and show you how much room is in here when the slides are closed let me just swivel this seat around real quick There we go. 
Again, it's kind of nice these just hang right there on the back of the seat so they're out of the way. Oh, you know what, let me start up the van. So on these Winnebago's, you do have to have power to the van. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up. All right, so the walls, the slides all the way in. As you can see, I've got plenty of room to access the bathroom, the bed, everything in the, in the coach, basically. So that's the benefit to this floor plan versus some of the others. So you can actually use the bed, you can use the dinette, still get to the bathroom and kitchen while the slide is in. Now that that's done, a couple things to point out up front here. Let me get my seat back. The parking brake is designed so that it can stay engaged by just, if you just push down, it stays engaged, which you can see on the dash panel here that the brake light is on. That's so that you can swivel your seat around without hitting the brake, but still allows you to have the brake engaged. So. Uh, both seats do swivel like I mentioned. You're going to have the same controls on both sides as far as three memory settings, your backrest adjusts right here, and then the lower seat moves with that. And there's your heat. Plenty of cup holders. This is a Sprinter, so you have a ton of them. Your key actually goes down in there. You're also down here gonna have a couple things. You can have a 12 volt outlet and a USB type C port right there. Up on both sides, you're gonna have two additional cup holders and a little cubby. In the center here, you're gonna have your media center. Again, these are gonna be USB type C's. You have a wireless charging pad right here. On your touch screen, you can access it simply by touching the screen. You can access it down here by pushing the buttons, or you can access it using the mouse pad on the right side of the steering wheel here. You can go to apps, go to your smartphone. Oh, I don't want to do that. Get over to smartphone and then you can clip over to Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So a lot on the stereo system that we can go through. There's a ton of videos online. Also, we do walk you through this if you purchase from us. Uh, if you have any additional specific questions on this unit, you can always call me. Uh, I can do a FaceTime. I can answer your questions that way. On the left side of the steering wheel, the mouse pad is going to control your display up here. So you can again control everything from this side. You're going to have your uh, cruise control on this side. Your phone controls on the right side of the steering wheel. It's pretty simple to use. Down here, this light will turn on if you have your leveling jacks on. It'll stay on, let you know you can't leave yet. You want to make sure that light is off and your jacks are up before you take off. Push button start. You're going to have your AC controls right here. Hazards. And then your volume right here. Pretty simple. Again, this is a 2023 Winnebago Navion 24J is the floor plan. Um, if you have any questions, again, feel free to call me. You can text, email. Si hablo español, me pueden hablar al 720 276 Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next week.